and that's Mr. James Wood. He's in the single A affiliate. He's 20 years old for the Washington Nationals. He was drafted by the San Diego Padres in the second round. Huge guy. Huge. He's 6'7", 240, and plays in the outfield. James Wood was also part of the package to acquire Juan Soto and Josh Bell. Ross, would you please dive into a little bit of the stats on James Wood? He had a very good debut, but it was one that I was I, – I liked the numbers, but I was still a little skeptical because the strikeout rate was pretty high. In 101 plate appearances with the, the Padres after getting drafted, he hit 372 with a 465 OBP and a 535 slugging percentage at the rookie level. He added 10 stolen bases. 10 stolen bases. And, and this is something interesting that I'm going to I'm gonna beat the drum on a little bit because this is a big guy, and yeah. it's presumed he's got a lot, like a huge power potential, but he's got sneaky speed. He's yeah, got man. really sneaky speed. Yep. 10 stolen bases out of 10 attempts. I was still in wait and see mode because the strikeout rate was very high. He had a good walk rate, but a very high strikeout rate. This year, promoted to single A, he was hitting 337 with a 453 OBP and a 601 slugging percentage with the Padres before that trade to the Nationals happened. And really addressed the plate discipline concern that I had right off the bat. Most of the season early on, he was walking as much or more than he struck out. And it was only until a little bit later when he, about the time he got injured, that the strikeout started adding up a little bit more. So that addressed the biggest concern that I had with his profile. And I was all in, chips all in at that point, going to go get him wherever I can, however I can, because this guy seems like he is the next thing. I think, and I'm speculating a little bit, that when he came back from injury, he was still a little hampered by that. Yep. So the rest of the season, his statistics weren't as good. Strikeouts were a little bit higher. Walks weren't quite as high. He got traded, so he's dealing with a lot of changes. So there's just a lot of stuff going on with him after that point. He struggled when he came back, rookie affiliate, and then after he went to the, the Nationals, he put up fine numbers. They were fine numbers. You, you can't complain about those, 293, 366, 463. They just weren't those eye-popping numbers that we saw at the beginning of the season. I think the real James Wood is the James Wood that we saw at the beginning of the season. Money was nice and healthy. I'm really excited to see what he can do. Lots of sneaky speed on the season. He, in 348 plate appearances, so just over half a season – of plate appearances, roughly 20 stolen bases, which you wouldn't expect from a big supposed power hitter, 12 home runs, slugged 536. He projects for an average of 16 home runs per 600 plate appearances and 15 stolen bases. So they see a totally different player. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to be that player. I think he's got a good hit tool. And I think the power is going to show up and he's probably not going to run so much when he gets bigger. No. So I'm actually with the scouts and the people that are, that are saying that they think he's this type of player. I think he's probably more that type of player too. Okay. I think scout the stat line has it wrong on this guy, okay. but they are seeing something special. I really like this guy. I think now he's risen to the ranks in prospect lists where he's probably not cheap. But if you're paying attention to scout the stat line, you could have got him for Khalil Watson. <laughs> One major concern that I have, he's 20 years old. He's 20 years old. He's 6'7 and 240 already. Really got to keep an eye on that that weight I, I don't want to see that fluctuation and stuff and, and see him having to 
really bear down to keep his weight at a reasonable level. That is a big human being. And that is a big human being moving very, very fast. Mm -hmm. I, I would keep an eye on this one to make sure there's no lingering injury concerns. That's a big human being, man. I had another prospect that I was all in on and I loved him and he was huge. His name was Kyle Blanks. Oh. He could never stay healthy. So I, I want you to be very cautious on the health standpoint. Always some risk. Brian has yep. PTSD. Don't listen to him. <laughs> there's all sorts of things that I want to say. Yeah. Yes, being bigger could mean that there's more injury risk. Could. We don't know because we don't know how to. Yeah, it, 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 it doesn't have to be. But on the flip side, there's this giant human being that just hit 62 home runs out there, right? Aaron Judge. And usually with these big guys, what they say is they don't develop until they're older. But we're seeing this from James Wood at 19 years old. Yep. So I think that's incredibly promising and some of the articles that i read from really smart people have just made me pretty gaga over this guy too uh, uh another thing and we, we highlighted this with um bobby barrel he's going to be on a rocket ship through the nationals um organization should move quick yeah yeah he, he they're gonna want him in the major leagues as fast as possible because they need him I, I, let's not kid ourselves. The Nationals are going to need a lot of help. Yeah. He, he's one of my top prospects, not just outfielders, just top prospects in general. I urge every one of you, if you can get him, I don't even care if it's at a reasonable price. If you can get him, I want you to go get him. And I, I, I don't think – we are going to fail you on this one. I am a huge James Wood fan. I think if you really dive into this guy's stats, everybody's going to see something special. He's going to be very fun to watch. I have all the hopes in the world. Go get him. I won't steer you wrong. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and of course, visit our website, scoutthestatline.com for more.